Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I'm kind of out of my league, so mainly what I do for laser engravers. But this is kind of the, almost the same thing. This is a picture, and I've already made a copy of it in case you mess up. And I'm going to take the whole thing again and hit the plus key and make another copy because I need that banana. But she, they asked if they could have a circle and then have the text on that circle. So we're going to take the ellipse tool and without holding down the control button, kind of make an ellipse trying to get the entire banana split and they could pick what they want to do with the, the size. Uh, we've almost got about as big as we could get it and so on. And I'm also going now to take this and I'm going to select it all again. I'm going to hit plus key and I'm going to get another copy because we're going to need all these copies to make this work. I'm actually going to take that and fill it in and make it black. I'm going to go ahead and take away the outline. This was printed. I was trying to match the font. So this is part of the picture. So I'm going to go and try to go back minus front. That didn't work. Front minus back, nothing changed. Sometimes because you didn't have it clicked, nothing changed. So let's try the intersect tool. Select everything and go intersect. And voila, we have it. So that's why I made a bunch of copies. Now this is all we needed off the picture, but we also need this little banana here. So the best thing I know to do would be with this selected, get your crop tool, which is underneath your virtual segment delete key, and let's crop out this banana guy. Pretty cool, cute, cute little graphic, and crop it. Now, we're gonna have to do something with it because it's gonna have a yellow background. This time we'll use a red background because we're making a banana go to order back a page. And you can see the white bounding box around it. So we need to trace that. So grab that. I'm going to convert it to a bet map. And what I'm also going to do is right now, I'm going to hit the plus key and I'm going to nudge out of the way. Well, let me change my nudge factor to, to four off of four. We don't need to be at that far. This is only less than two inches. Let's, well, I actually had my nudge factor at 20 inches. Let's set it at two inches. Let's make a duplicate of that guy and we'll nudge it over twice. Because we're going to use that graphic again. Let's take this, go to bitmap, convert it to a bitmap. Color, doesn't matter. We're not getting there. Go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. And see if we can't trace this banana in it while it worked. So now I'm not going to move it. I'm going to nudge it over. And I don't know if they want the shadow or not. And we actually have this little part right here so we can go object, order. No, yeah, just all we have to do is go to object and ungroup this thing because it is a trace now. And then we can get like, like that little yellow dot. We don't need that little yellow dot. Now we just need... You could actually probably just use this now. I think this will actually work. We'll set a red bounding box, go to object, order, back a page. We've gotten rid of all the background. It worked. We don't have to, what I, well, we've lost a little bit of the color. So we're going to continue doing what I was going to do. We're going to go ahead and group this thing back together. No, we're not. We're going to take the boundary tool and we're going to create a boundary around this. Now this time I'm going to nudge it up and you see what we did. We got a, an outline of that guy. So now we can go down and let's try this. Let's try intersect tool. Look at that. Let's take the red box. Order back a page. And we have all the colors and all the graphics in that banana. But all the background is gone. Now, normally I would nudge stuff out of the way, but I'm not going to do this. 
now we have this circle. We can get rid of all this other uh, garbage. Not really garbage, but get rid of all this stuff. And we're going to keep that banana where it is. Now, they wanted a the word around there. I don't know if they want it all the way around there or not. So I'm going to I'm going to right click outline. Nothing's going to happen because it's a bitmap. Uh, what can we do? Let's just try to manually. I could have probably done it earlier. I should have made a copy. It's probably too. No, there's our circle. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to take our picture and put it in the center of the page. So that worked. Now what you could do and uh, I wouldn't want it exactly on the picture. So I'm going to grab the red. And if you look down here, you've got the red. And probably the best thing to do would be to contour it. Let's, uh, let's nudge it up three times, four times. Let's go to effects, contour. I'm going to contour to the outside, 0 0.02. I don't even know how big that is. That's perfect. Go to object, break contour apart, and then grab the center one and go down. And we can actually delete it, but we'll keep it for future reference. And if you notice, I'm not moving it, I'm nudging it. So now we got this festival. Let's move the words up here. And I'm going to nudge that up a couple of times. Now, I do not like text to path on the bottom, but we're, we're going to make it work, I think. And I think she's going to want this yellow, so we're going to go ahead and make it yellow. And we're it's still a text, and it's pretty close to the font she was using. I'm going to go text, text the path, and I'm going to set it on this path. And it's probably a little bit big, but we're going to call it good. I don't know. Let's back up here a little bit. Let's make it a little bit smaller font. Let's go 105. Go text, and you and she can change it to whatever size she wants. I think that looks a little better. I'm getting the red line, so that's in the center. Now, if you think about it, that our picture nudged up, the text will not actually be on the picture itself. We'll delete that line in just a second. So now let's just take that picture and nudge it back down. Take this one. This is probably going to be definitely too long. Let's make it a... And I don't know if she wants it. I'm surely she wants it on the outside. We'll just leave it. Let's just make it 70 points even. Go up to text, text the path. And I never have liked upside down. And then do this and rotate it, but it puts it in the center. Let me zoom in here. Now you still got it so you can get right here and you can change these. And if you notice they're going outside, it's going around the boundary. But then we can take this one and run it back to the center. That's going to look pretty good. Now, one thing you could do also is bring in an indexing line. And it'll tell you when you're in the center of that circle. And we can grab the text. Well, I actually didn't mean to do that. Um, just this text. I should have broken the other text apart. Yep, because it's going to change everything. Let me just back up here. I should have broke the text apart. Um, let's take this text, go up to object, break the three elements apart. This text, well, I had to break them all. But it's pretty much, well, it is in the center. Looks good. We can make it yellow. Now, I'm going to take away the outline. I don't know, you know, in her wording... Uh, where the banana actually goes, but I'm going to just bring the banana in. Might, might be a little bit too big for this uh, drawing. Um, maybe I could have used a bigger font, but we can nudge this up. Now, what I would suggest would be to take that red line and just delete it. And I don't know what they're printing it on. If they're printing on like a blue shirt, it's going to work out. If they're not, I would actually take the text and maybe put a put a black outline around it, and you could make that thicker, thinner, or, you know, even maybe you know highlight a little bit. Make your font bigger, 
you know, pull it down or make the banana smaller. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.